It ain't pretty at all. The Ohio EPA and Cleveland Fire Department were on scene here for several hours this afternoon testing the air quality and thankfully those tests did not find elevated levels of mercury. Early Tuesday morning, dozens of firefighters responded to the former Simpkins Industries building in the 7200 block of Wentworth. Then on Thursday night, the fire department was called back out because there was a light haze in the building that could have been related to workers who had been scrapping the facility. Fire officials say the hazmat team also responded because of environmental concerns. The massive facility has been home to several different industries over the past century. And according to an environmental report obtained by News 5, the soil and groundwater tested positive for known carcinogens and other metals. Oh, I'm sure it does. I got asbestos in it, and it's, it's over 100 years old, I'm sure. The Ohio EPA says it also has some recent history at the site. Neighbors say the building is unsightly, unsanitary, and unsafe. They need to go ahead and tear it down. They ain't doing nothing in it. We called the, we called the government on it. They said ain't nobody supposed to be in the building, but we hear people working in the building all the time. Just need to go for real. City records show code enforcement has a lengthy history with the building for complaints about the exterior and parts of the roof hitting neighbors' cars. So who owns this building? Property records show it's owned by a company called NDHMD Incorporated. That company is owned by a Cleveland man named George Dietrich. He purchased the property in 2010 in a forfeited land sale for 1500 bucks. He could not be reached for comment. EPA officials say they've also notified sewer officials that some of the water that the firefighters used to put out that massive blaze earlier this week may have stirred up some of the contaminated uh, some of the contaminants inside this facility. So they wanted to let the sewer officials know that some of that water that runoff may have been contained with mercury. Live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.